Hey, what's going on everyone? Welcome back to my Origin SMP series, where I play an Origin you suggest for one entire day. Today I played the Avians, but before we get into this video, I have a few things I need to talk about first. If you enjoy this video, it'd be a massive help to me and the channel if you subscribed and hit that like button, if you enjoy the videos. This series is pretty much completely fueled by community suggestions and community requests, so it's great feedback for me to see how many people are actually interested in the content that I'm making and how many people want to see me continue with the Origin SMP content. So if you've seen my last few videos, you know I'm planning on completing all of the base game Origins first so I can update my outdated race tier list video I made a while back. Now that I've played all of the races, I feel like I've made quite a few mistakes in that video and I've put things where they shouldn't be. Now, I have completed the Elytrian video, which I know a lot of people were looking forward to, but the video actually got copyright claimed. I'm really worried for what that means for the channel because I know I didn't do anything wrong and I disputed the claim, but if the claim gets rejected, I can end up getting a copyright strike. I use royalty-free music in the back of my videos, and that's what ended up getting claimed, so I I'm really not sure what to do. It says it'll take 30 days maximum, so hopefully I can release it before then, um, but I wanted to apologize for that. I spent a lot of time making that Elytrian origin video, and I actually think it's a really good video. I just don't feel comfortable releasing it until we get this issue resolved. The problem is, a lot of my previous videos use that exact soundtrack. So I'm really worried because if it goes through and it's approved by the company, they can claim all my other stuff as well. I'm sorry to put a damper on the vibe for this video, but I thought I should let you guys know. Hopefully you guys can understand why I'm not gonna release that video and you know, you understand where I'm coming from. But with that said, let's move on to the Avian Origin Guide. If you're a subscriber to this channel, you already know this, but chances are, you're probably not. That being said, it's likely you're unfamiliar with what mod pack I'm playing. I'm playing with the Origin SMP mod pack from the Curse Forge launcher. This mod pack has many exciting races to explore, along with 14 different classes to choose from that can benefit your race in different ways. If you have no idea what I just said about Origin classes, feel free to check out my tier list videos on the mod pack. Links will be in the description, and there should be cards on screen throughout the video. In this series, I don't plan on beating the game. I just want to take my time and learn about the origin as best as I can. I played the Avian for one day, and this is what I learned. I think this is probably going to be a pretty short video, mainly because the Avian origin is pretty simple and it's pretty easy to understand. I didn't really have to do too much testing for this video. If you've seen my other stuff, you know if there's a combat mechanic or a defensive mechanic, I go onto the official server and I test with my friend. But the Avian's pretty one-dimensional, as I'm sure you know, so there wasn't too much testing I had to do. Let's look at the Avian's signature abilities first. Their first ability is called Featherweight. This allows the Avian to slowly descend through the air unless they hold the sneak key. This ability makes it so you basically never take fall damage and you can redirect your slow descent to maneuver around obstacles like you never could before. A trick I found when playing around with this ability is that you can extend the length of your slow fall if you keep sprinting throughout the duration of the fall. If you remain sprinting, it allows you to fall significantly further compared to if you don't sprint in the air. You can also just not move at all and fall directly straight down to the ground as well, or you just don't have to move forward and you can move backward or you can move to the side while you're falling. The Feather Weight ability gives the Avian lots of maneuverability options while they're in the air. My one pet peeve with this ability is that it's not a toggle. Lots of Origins have their maneuverability abilities tied to a toggle. Think of the Arachnid or the Inchling. If you want to turn off auto climbing surfaces, you can. It can get annoying sometimes if you're mining or walking around your house constantly clipping on things and automatically climbing them. However, as the avian, if you're trying to get across an area quickly and you're sprint jumping, you actually get slowed down from the featherweight passive. So if you jump while you're sprinting, you lose a lot of your momentum and it can actually slow down how fast you travel by a good amount. The only way to turn off the featherweight passive, as I'm sure you can see, is to hold shift. 
and you can't really do that while you're sprinting away from mobs or sprinting away from other players in PvP. That's kind of unrealistic to do. So if I could change one super tiny thing about the origin, it would be that you can toggle Featherweight on and off with your primary ability key, which is G by default, if you didn't know. Let's get into the second signature ability of the Avian, Tailwind. This ability is pretty unique to the Avians, but it's pretty simple in design. You sprint a little bit faster than others. From what someone on my Discord told me, and if I had to guess, this buff is like having Speed 1 permanently bound to your character, which is actually pretty nice, and it helps ease the pain from the Featherweight passive when you're trying to run away from someone. With Tailwind, it's actually much faster to just cut out the jumping when you're running, and just run normally. However, if you're running and you need to go one block down, like, you know, you're trying to just go down a hill or something, the Featherweight passive can slow you down a lot, and it sometimes bugs out and you need to re-sprint once you hit the ground, which can get pretty annoying, especially if you're in a PvP environment. So because of how Featherweight works, the Tailwind passive ability is pretty much essential for the Avians, just to combat their disadvantage where they can't reliably sprint jump for maximum mobility. The Avians have two abilities that deal with how they sleep and how sleeping works. So I'm going to do those back to back just so they're easier to understand. The first ability is called Fresh Air. This passive makes it so the Avians must sleep at a Y level of 86 or higher. Another origin with a similar ability is Monkey, which is basically the same but at Y level 75 instead of 86. What I'm trying to say is the same thing I said in that video, which is it's not hard to do. In my world, I luckily spawn at the top of a high mountainy area with a village, so I pretty much hit the jackpot. At the lowest, the Y level was around 100, so I had no issue with the fresh air passive ability at all. Now, you will probably find it's a little more difficult for you, and you won't get that good of a spot, but honestly, if you find a medium-sized hill and just settle on top of it, you should be in a pretty good spot. The next ability the avians have that ties in with their sleeping stuff is their passive ability called Aviparous. The Aviparous passive makes it so whenever you wake up as an avian, you lay a fresh egg that pops into your inventory. It's a little bit strange, but it adds some nice flavor to the avian origin. During my day that I played as the avians, I slept around 12 times if I had to guess, and not one time did my egg hatch. So maybe you'll get more lucky than me and make some children, which is a pretty funny mechanic for like roleplay as well, because you can have a whole house just filled with a bunch of your kids, which you can't really do with other origins, so that's kind of cool. And the very last ability the avians have, and probably the least interesting, of course, is the vegetarian passive for the avians. This isn't really an upside or downside, but as Bluefeather64 perfectly says, Carnivores have an easier early game with gathering and cooking meat, and vegetarians have an easier late game because they can eat golden apples and other end game food. And that pretty much wraps up the video. I played the avians for one day, and that is what I learned. Did I miss anything? Be sure to comment down below if I missed any tips or tricks with the avians that you may have found. I really hope you learned something from this video, and if you did, it would mean a lot if you subscribed and hit that like button. Is there a specific origin you'd like to see me try out next? Make sure to vote in the straw poll below, and you can see if the origin you vote for will be in my next video. Thank you so much for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one.